and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my great big pattern swap makes. Now I did make two dresses, I only actually finished one because the first one didn't go very well and I didn't think it suited me and so I'm going to try and make some alterations to it to get it finished in a slightly different way so it's going to still be wearable. So I'm just going to share with you the patterns that I used and show you the makes and I'll pop in some pictures as well so you can see. So the first one was this pattern here. So this is a thread count pattern and I really liked the look of this one because of the v-neck and the wrap front and I feel like for me having a v-neck and that wrap round front is really flattering so I really liked the look of this pattern I had planned to make a dress so wrapped at the top with a slight gather um, in at the waist and then falling down this pattern actually has a tighter fitting dress I didn't really want to go for that because um, I don't want it to cling to my hips, I prefer skirts that come outwards there. So this is the dress I made, so I chose this fabric that I got from eBay and it's a viscose jersey, black with little white flowers and I really love this fabric, I think it's really cute and actually it, I thought it was going to look really nice with this detail. Now this pattern requires you to put um, Basically it's got the, like a vest top and then it's got two pieces that come over that and the inside is like folded over. Now I did do that first of all and oh, it was so bulky and horrible and then all of the inside was turning to the outside. So I decided to add on a neck band. So that's what I've done here. So I looked online to find a neck, how to do a neck band, a V neck band and I did add that on. And actually the V neck band um, it came out okay for my first one but it is made the whole of the front top of the dress go all gathered and funny I wonder if that is part of the the way I've made the pattern or if that's just me adding the neckband or something like that um so that's really frustrating when I put this on it feels really gapy around here it fits here but oh, there's lots of odd bits of fabric and I just don't feel comfortable wearing it. I love making my own clothes, but I want them to look like high quality items at this point. You know, I've been dressmaking for such a long time that I expect a lot from myself now. Um, I think a couple of years ago or so, I wouldn't have minded um, this dress at all. But actually I've got to a stage now where I'm trying to just really focus on the quality of my um, garments. So I feel really happy wearing them. And this unfortunately doesn't um, meet that. On a second level, it's got these bits here that gather around the stomach and I will put a close up of that as a picture. Now I thought that these were separate pieces, I didn't realise that it was a vest top with two gathered pieces on top. So the top half of the garment is actually quite thick on the front, so it's adding a lot of extra um, bulk. and. The gathers, although they look really flattering and they stretch out when you add them, it means it's adding extra weight to this section under my chest and around my waist. Now my waist is my smallest part, I come out on my chest and out on my hips and my waist is my smallest part. And it's making me look like I don't have a waist, which I really don't like. I always try and make sure that when I have a dress it really does highlight my waist because I really like that style on myself, I think it looks quite flattering on me and unfortunately this dress does, just doesn't um, do that. So I'm a bit disappointed with that because I was hoping that it would be really cute to have all of those gathers. So I'm going to be looking at other ways to kind of have gathers at the shoulder and gathers coming down over the chest, maybe in the form of like a, a false wrap top um, with a skirt attached or something like that. But what I will be doing, because underneath here lose fabric. Basically underneath there's another bit of dress here. So I'm hoping what I will be able to do is take these bits off, the gathered bits, and actually have another dress underneath. So um, watch my August makes video when it comes out in a few weeks and hopefully I will have had a chance to do that. So not too happy with that one, I didn't end up finishing it, I didn't submit it for the, the um, Big Pattern Swap competition, 
and I haven't posted a picture on Instagram because I'm just really not happy with it and I wanted to share it with you because I think it's important that you see the things that I make that aren't great as well as the things that I absolutely love um, and I just want you to understand that even though I've been sewing for a long time and I love working with Jersey sometimes things don't turn out right for me either and unfortunately this is one of those um, on this occasion I will be able to save it and I will still have this as a dress just without these gathered bits but if you can't save it it's just one of those things um, and I think that that's just the kind of chance we take when we're sewing our own clothes whether things will suit us um, and for a long time I wasn't trying out new patterns because of that but actually I've got a real um, bug now trying to trying out different patterns and seeing how they work and I think it's just about trying to take those risks um, with that so that is that one and I will post a picture of me wearing the unfinished dress so you can see what it looks like on me um, but then I will alter it and you'll see that in my August mix. So the next one I've got is this one. So this is the Amelia Tea Dress by Simple So. Now I really loved the look of this pattern, it's got kind of vintage edge to it and again it's got a v-neck, kind of getting into the v-necks now and what I really love it's got a gathered detail across the shoulder. Now this pattern is actually a woven pattern, it's not for jersey, but I have made my dress out of jersey for it. So if you look at the line drawings, so I've kept in the gathered shoulder and the sleeve, but what I've got rid of is the waistband, and I've just extended the front bodice down to meet the same at the back. The back has darts and the front doesn't in this pattern, but I did actually add them. So I'm going to show you the dress. So this is the uh, dress that I made. So I chose this jersey that I got from my local fabric shop. So it's a uh, navy with these little birds on. And it is a directional print. So I had to be really careful when I was cutting it out because I did almost cut the birds. So they would be upside down, which wouldn't be too good. So with this, uh, changes that I made with the woven pattern, there is a facing. Now with jersey I really don't like facings so I decided to add a neck band on. So with this I basically cut a 1.5 inch strip of jersey and then I measured the neckline space. I then cut the band to 90% of that measurement. So I worked that out and then that means it stretches around easily and um, I have just made another pattern which is slightly less than 90% so it was worth playing about with it but yeah 90% and then the v-neck um, I will link the tutorial that I used underneath so you can see how to do that but simply you get the two strips and where they would fold you cut in a v-shape uh, and then sew those together um, to make that but I'll, I'll link that below sleeves are the same and then with this is exactly the same so the back piece is actually starts here and comes right up over the shoulder to the back so that's actually longer and then I've put the gathers in here and then because the gathers didn't work in the waist it was looking a bit funny on me I've added darts there and there's also um, darts in the back as well I did also alter the skirt, so I used my basic block that I've got to make the skirt and I've just added two pleats in, so a pleat here and a pleat at the other side as well. And the same on the back, I added the pleats in there and there. And that is just so it comes out enough to go over my bum at the back and it doesn't. It means that my bum won't raise the dress up. So really happy with this dress, really happy with the fabric as well and I think I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. It's quite a fun dress and I'm hoping to make some more with this kind of detail in the future. So and the v-neck, um, maybe some sleeveless ones as well. Uh, so really really happy with this and I will insert some pictures of the um, v-neck while I talk during the video and also some pictures of me actually in the dress as well. So I have had a few questions um, on Instagram and um, other places um, on, on my YouTube videos about how I change woven patterns to make for jersey and essentially is a case of just uh, testing it out. So some advice that I would give is 
I don't like things to be tight on me, so I like things to be looser. So usually I don't size down when I make a woven pattern in a jersey. Now a lot of people would say that you should, because jersey patterns, because they stretch, people say that they shouldn't have any wearing ease in them, whereas a woven pattern will. But I don't tend to do that because I like things to be slightly bigger and I can always sew them just down the side seams to make them a little bit smaller. So I would advise just make the size that you think will be comfortable. If you do want it to be a little bit more tighter fitting um, or just stretch to fit you, then yes, do size down. But otherwise, just make the size you would make with um, a cotton or a woven fabric. The second is Jersey doesn't really like facings. Uh, I've tried to add facings with Jersey and it, it just doesn't it just doesn't turn out nice. So if you look at any of your ready to wear clothes, the likelihood is it might be folded over and then hemmed or it might have a neck band so on this one obviously I've put a neck band so that's just a strip of fabric and then I've attached it on the inside like that and I do still need to sew round this with some top stitching when I say folded over exactly the same as what you would do with a hem so you take a piece of fabric you fold it over a certain amount and then you fold it over again so I go for a one centimeter fold over and then another centimeter and then I've done two lines of stitching on the other side to top stitch that. So that's one thing I would say with um, just finishing the edges. Obviously with jersey fabric, you need to, you might need to use a ballpoint needle or a stretch needle. Um, I would recommend a walking foot and you need to also use a, like a zigzag stitch or I like to use the, is like a zigzag, but it's got three stitches within it. That's the one that I like to use. And other than that, you can pretty much make a woven pattern in Jersey just by doing those few things. Um, it is very difficult to do it the opposite way around. So a Jersey pattern to woven, it, it becomes a bit difficult just because of the amount of ease in there. But if you do have any questions about um, making things in Jersey, please feel free to leave a comment below or find me on Instagram and ask me there because I am willing to talk to anybody. But it's basically a case of trying it out and see if it, see if it works. And if it works, amazing. And if it doesn't, you just try another thing. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to hear more from me and like this video if you did. Goodbye.